What does being honest mean to you? Um, being true to your friends, being true to yourself. I don't know, just telling the truth. There's really another way to describe it. Telling the truth to your friends and your family. It's just always being honest to yourself first and telling the truth to everyone. Just not lying and being yourself. Someone who's constantly faithful and tells the truth 100% of the time and someone that you could truly believe in. Of course, honesty is always best policy. Yeah, it is. Sometimes. <laughs> Most of the time. I guess so, yes. And sometimes yes, sometimes no though. Not always, I think it's okay to tell a lie once in a while. White lies are all right, stuff like that, but you gotta be sure that you know you gotta do the right thing. Yes, unless it's gonna hurt someone that you feel that if it's something that they don't need to know and wouldn't hurt them in the long run. Okay, so Jack, let's say your girlfriend just got a new perfume and she really likes it, but the smell like makes you want to throw up. Do you tell her the truth Is this... and not have to deal with the smell or lie to make her feel better? I mean, come on, is this even a serious question? I mean, am I gonna go like, no, I hate your perfume, sorry, just go get it. No, no I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell her that I like the perfume and then maybe go out and buy her a bottle of perfume of my own and be like, <laughs> you know, how about you wear my perfume, you know? I'll, I'll feel bad if you don't wear it, you know? Right, right, so right. right. I, got, I got a little situation for you. What if, what if you're, uh, one of your best friends breaks up with her boyfriend and um, she, you're gonna go over and like help her out but then your other friend says she's got two free tickets to Dave Matthews. Which do you choose? Do you make something up and ditch your friend to go to the concert? Oh, my first instinct would probably be to lie, which is really horrible. I hope I wouldn't, oh, I hope I would go to the friend that was upset. Well, I know you love Dave Matthews, I so. I do, that's why I'm thinking I'd probably make a lie up. Ugh. It's not always easy to be honest, but I know when I'm not honest, I always feel guilty about it. I know what you mean. So, how important is it to be honest? Is honesty always the best policy? That's what we'll be talking about today. Hi everyone, I'm Catherine. And I'm Jack. And, and this, this is, is Real Faith, Faith TV. TV. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 26 tells us that an honest answer is the sign of true friendship. Our spotlight guest, Jenna, will tell us how she lost a friend because of a lie she told. She will also tell us about a time when a friend wasn't honest with her. We'll hear from the teens on the street again later in the show and meet our studio guests. But first, let's meet Jenna and find out how she defines honesty. Being honest is about having integrity with yourself and being honest with your friends and telling them the truth no matter what it means, what, it, what could happen if you do. I do feel that honesty is always the best policy because as long as you're honest with someone, that's just the basis of trust in a relationship with somebody. Most of the time I do consider myself an honest person. I try my hardest, but sometimes I do mess up and have a day when I just feel like being honest with somebody makes me feel too vulnerable or makes me feel like I don't have control of the situation, but then I just have to realize that I'm being honest with people that I trust and they're being honest with me and that's the best way that a relationship can work, just being honest with each other. That's why honesty is always the best policy in every aspect of your life, no matter with your friends, with your family, with yourself even with the internet, just anywhere you can, anywhere that you are, you have to have honesty the same way. Let's meet our studio guests and find out how they define honesty. They are Ian, Jessica, Ijama, Vince, Katie, and Aiden. So what does being honest mean to you guys? Well, honesty is really important. I think it just basically means being true to everyone around you, including yourself. Yeah, I think honesty is knowing when to tell the truth. Uh, I don't think you should offend someone with the truth, but it's still the best policy to go by. I also think honesty is not only not telling lies, but also like not taking things that aren't yours, even though there's like nobody around watching. Yeah, I think honesty is being true to yourself, and then you have to be true to others too, but you can be truthful and be nice about it. You don't have to just be like, oh, this is how it is. I think honesty really defines someone as a person, just because if, you, if you're truthful with your friends and with yourself, you're a much more enjoyable person to be around, and it's easier to talk to your friends rather than just always creating a falsehood about yourself. Yeah, I think like, Honesty, um, you know, knowing, um, like you said, knowing when 
to tell the truth. Like there's times, there's times when people don't have a right to the truth. Like mm -hmm. someone busts in your door with a shotgun. He's like, "Where's your brother?" You know, I, I'm not gonna tell him. Oh, he's in the back room. You know, <laughs> yeah, or or if um, or or if it like hurts somebody. You know, if someone if. The, the famous question, do I look fat in this dress? You know, I'm not going to be like, yo, if Shamu came out of the tank and put on a skirt, that's what you, I'm going to be like, you look great. You look great. You know, like little white lies like that. But if, if it's something really important, then it's very important to tell the truth. Right. I think, Ian, I liked what you said. It's like a test of character. Because I think honesty is really knowing what, how are you going to respond if you've got front row Dave Matthews tickets or a best friend who needs you? You know, like it's a test of character and it's, it kind of goes along with being true to yourself at the same time. Lying is something we can get very used to. As Homer says on The Simpsons, it takes two to lie, one to lie, and one to listen. When we get in the habit of lying, we bring others into a false world with us. We find that the more often someone believes our lies, the easier it is for us to disregard the truth. Let's go back to the teens on the street and find out if they can remember any of the times they were dishonest. And if they think that society promotes the idea that it's acceptable to lie and cheat as long as you get ahead. Let's check it out. When I was a little kid, I lied to my mom. It was really bad. Every day, I don't know, I lie a lot. Just going places like I, like I told my parents I didn't. Because it was for my better interest. Well, I told my mom I wasn't coming down to the shore two days ago. But I came down anyway because it's my senior weekend. I feel bad about that, but to be honest, I cheat with like I cheat off all the people and stuff. But that's the worst part of it. Like I'm I'm mostly honest with myself and with all my other friends and everything around them. I cheated on a bunch of tests before. Um, I cheated on my boyfriend once. Do you think that society promotes the idea that it's acceptable to lie and cheat as long as get a, get yourself ahead? I think society does accept that in some ways, but uh, you know that's just how the world works. Human nature. Yeah, I think it does. Yes, I think with politics and celebrity life as publicized as it is, I think that they promote the fact of like lying and things like that. Basically, I think everyone goes to extremes to get ahead, lying, cheating, even against their morals. Can any of you think of a time in your life when you were dishonest? I can. I, I have three sisters and a brother, and growing up, I broke something or I took something I wasn't supposed to. It was so easy for me to like blame it on someone else. Because so many of them I just choose and be like, she did it. <laughs> I find it really easy to blame stuff on the dog. Just in case anything goes wrong, the dog gets, gets blamed. And she doesn't seem to mind, so it's okay. <laughs> well, me being an only child, I don't really have anybody else to blame. But in school, I seem to like, if I for forget homework one day, I seem to find an excuse that, you know, makes sense. Uh, I do the same thing, you know, I'll be like, yeah, about that, um, um, you know, my computer malfunctioned, yeah, you know, yeah, just, yeah, of course. Or, or, or if someone <laughs> wants me to hang out somewhere and I really don't feel like it, I'll be like, yeah, my mom, she <laughs> makes me do this stuff. Yeah, I, I have even yard know. work, yeah, yeah. Uh, I and I have it. to pay the taxes. Yeah, yeah, I always do stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, this one time, me and my brother, my younger brother, we decided it would be a good idea if we like played soccer in the house, because that's always good, and we ended up breaking something. And at first it was just really funny because it was something we shouldn't have done. And then I lied to my mom and told her that my brother did it because it ended up being something really important to her. Afterwards I felt horrible about it, but like, I don't think I ever told her the truth about it. I felt so bad. I can totally relate to that. But like, I, last year my friend got a haircut and I did not like it at all. And like I didn't know what to say because it was really short and I knew it would grow back. So like saying something and telling her that I didn't like it, I thought it would just be mean because there's nothing she could do about it right then. So I told her I liked it, but then she hit me for like the worst guilt trip. She's like, I know you wouldn't lie to me about it. And I was like, oh my gosh. And so like, I still didn't tell her, but you know, it grows, it grew back and it looks really good now, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, whenever I go out somewhere, my mom always asks me to call her at like a certain time and um, I never do because like I always forget and when I come home she'll be angry and say why didn't you call and I'll just lie and say I did but she wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm always doing that making up like oh, I'm going here when I really have no intention of being there whatsoever but I'm always safe like I come home. <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time. It depends. <laughs> Sometimes we use lies to cover up for who we really are and what's going on in our lives. 
and we hide. We hide from the truth, we hide from the light, and we hide from ourselves. We lie to ourselves to justify our bad behavior, make excuses. Next, Jenna tells us about how one dishonest act led to more dishonesty and lies. A time in my life when I wasn't honest and I was deliberately deceitful was uh, a couple months ago. Um, me and my friend were just joking around and I made a MySpace for my teacher. I thought it would be funny. I thought it would be interesting, a funny joke to play on him. Um, he found out a couple days later and he was really mad. He saw the MySpace. He saw the things on there that weren't true about him and he took that to the principal. The principal um, told me to take it off that day. That day I went home and I didn't take the MySpace off. I didn't delete it. I just thought I could get away with having it up another day. I was rebelling against him. But then the next day, um, I got called down to the office again, and they said, you really, you took my trust and you said that you would take it off, and now we're gonna have to get the police involved because I don't trust you to take it off again. And then when I got home that day, my dad called me and said, the Jackson police called my house, and he was really, really mad. I told him that it was my friend and that it was both of us together and that she was getting in trouble too, which she wasn't, and I told him all this, these things that weren't true about how it was my friend and just trying to get the blame off of myself and trying to keep my own integrity with my parents. But then my friend came over that day. My parents were joking around with her and said, hey, you know, you got to stay out of trouble and be, be a better influence on my daughter and all this stuff. And then she was like, wait a minute, I didn't do anything. And then they ended up talking about it and they discovered that I had lied to them about her involvement and she discovered the same thing. My friend was fed up with me being dishonest with her and she ended our relationship after that incident. I lost my best friend because of that, because of that one lie that I felt that I had to tell. When I first thought about doing this MySpace thing, making a MySpace for my teacher, I thought it was just gonna be a silly little prank. I thought it was gonna be funny and everyone was gonna think I was so funny and cool and interesting and I didn't think that far ahead. I didn't think that I would lose my best friend and lose the respect of one of my favorite teachers because of something silly. And if I had looked ahead to see that, I would not have even thought about doing it. It's not worth it at all. Jenna had to learn her lesson the hard way by losing a friend and the respect of a teacher. So can any of you guys think of a time when you or someone you know was caught up in a string of lies that they told? Yeah, actually, one of my friends, um, he left the state for a while, went down south, and his girlfriend up here didn't want anybody to know that he left. So what happened is one day a carnival came up up here in this state, and she uh, said that they went to the carnival together. Now, little did she know that I had been talking to her boyfriend that entire time, and I knew that he was down south. And the thing is, their relationship was like on the rocks, and she didn't want anybody to know. So every time we asked, oh, what did you guys do today? She would just say, oh, we did this, oh, we went there. And the thing is, that whole time, their relationship was just getting worse and worse. Hmm. Yeah, I actually, um, I had a friend who, um, a couple weeks before school ended, he got arrested for charges that I don't want to bring up. But uh, he kept telling all these lies about how Everyone, uh, this one kid was narking him out this way and this way. And then later on, I found out from the official court papers and from the lawyers and everything like that, from other people, that it was actually him. And it was just basically like he kept bringing in all these lies to try and make himself look better. And that really made me and a lot of other people that he knew lose a lot of respect for him. And so he's not exactly a very popular person to be around now. Have you ever found yourself concealing the truth from someone so as not to hurt their feelings? Is it okay to tell a lie to avoid hurting someone's feelings? That's what we ask the teens on the street. Let's check it out. What do you think about telling a lie to save someone's feelings? Oh, definitely. That's when I think it's the right opportunity to tell a lie, but other than that, no. Nah. Honestly, I might lie if it's going to hurt someone. I don't like to hurt people. I'll always tell them the truth, but I'll say it in a nice way. Yeah, I'll tell them. I'll say, this, this may hurt, but I'm telling you the truth. This is what this person may think about you, or this is wrong. You want to go ahead and do it. Keep doing it. I'm not. I can't change your mind. Even if the truth does hurt, I'll just still tell them straight out, like, what they said or, like, what happened. It's better off being honest and lying, because then you got to live up in the lie, and, um, at least if you're honest, you just get over with it, and you did it anyway, so I'll just fess up to it. I don't care, as long as it, like, is the truth, and they get to know what I really feel about them. If you lie, then they find out that you lied, and they're going to be, like, even more mad, and you're going to hurt them worse. 
Sometimes we do find ourselves in occasional situations where revealing the truth is intrusive or hurtful. Our Catholic Catechism says no one is bound to reveal the truth to someone who does not have the right to know it. But these situations are rare. One example is when Christians, during World War II, hid Jewish families in their homes to escape Nazi atrocities. Another situation could be when someone you know is getting help for an addiction or a mental illness, and we're asked why they aren't at an event. Telling what you know isn't appropriate when it violates someone's privacy unnecessarily. It isn't a matter of dishonesty, but a matter of what is kind and courteous. Can any of you guys think of a situation in which honesty was not the best policy? I think they're really just general, small situations, such as you mentioned before, the fat comment, do I look fat in this dress? It's just the small things, to, or if someone cooked a bad meal and you don't want to make them feel bad about it. It's just those little things, they're fine to just tell a little white lie about because it's not really going to matter in the long run. And stuff like people can't help, like I said before, like people can't help that they got their hair cut. Like once it's cut, there's nothing you can do about it right then. So, you know, I don't think it's necessary to tell the truth right then. Oh, and surprise parties. Don't tell people about surprise parties. <laughs> I think it's really hard. I've, I've had a situation where two girls were interested in the same boy, and I'm really close with all three of the, pe of the people. And the worst is when you know something that's going on with mm -hmm. the two, and you think you might be obligated to tell the third party. That's just so difficult. Like, how do you handle those kind of situations? If I'm, if I'm in a situation where I was talking to somebody and somebody tells me something, and they kind of say, you know, don't tell anybody else, then, you know, obviously that's a time when honesty is not the best policy. You're not going to go around and be like, you know, someone asks you, oh, what did, what did they think about this? You know, I'm not going to be like, oh, let me tell you what they said. You know, like it's not that. At the same thing. time, though, honestly, isn't it often where someone's like, oh, but, okay, don't tell anyone, and then they admit something, and somehow other people find out? Mm -hmm. Like, you know. Be, be honest, like that happens yeah. too. Have you ever been hurt by lies someone told? Jenna has. Next she'll tell us how a friend was dishonest with her. I used to go out with this guy and he would, um, I would ask him to come over and spend some time with me. And then he'd say, no, I'm a little tired today, I can't. But then I'd find out a couple days later that he had gone out with other people or gone out with his friends and, and that just ruined the trust that I had in him because he was lying to me the whole time. My reaction to that was that I was upset because he lied to me straight up to my face. And he, I had trust in him that he was telling me the truth. And then I found out that it was all just a big joke to him that he thought he could just not be honest with me. And that's something I valued in our relationship, but he broke it. I could never trust him the same way again. Every time that he did that to me, I would just trust him a little bit less and a little bit less and then eventually I just had nothing left for him at all. I was never able to really forgive him. I mean, a few times I would just say, never mind, I'm over it, I don't really care. But inside, I just never really could forgive the way that he was treating me. The very nature of dishonesty colors everything we say and do. How can someone be truly loyal if their friendship isn't based on truth? Have you ever been lied to? How did that affect you? Actually, I have a friend and she's really like a compulsive liar. It's ridiculous because every time you talk to her and we're with a group of people, one-on-one -on -one she's not bad, but if, if we're in a group of people, it's just her desire to impress everyone is so great that anything will come out of her mouth. And sometimes they're, uh, they're just obviously a lie. And that's what really gets to me. And you know it, and, you try and, and I try to talk to her about it, and she doesn't seem to change because she's so, she's so caught up with being the perfect kind of person. That's kind of like, I have a friend like that who, um, well, he doesn't really want to be perfect, but he wants to like fit in with yeah. everyone and he, he'll, he'll, kind of, he'll kind of be like, you know, he'll tell me one thing, like, oh, I got grounded because I argued with my mom. But then he'll go around telling other people like, dude, I got grounded, biggest party I like had at my house and all these people were there. And I'm like, that dude, that didn't happen at all. But like, yeah, he, he says stuff like that. And it kind of bugs me because I'm, I'm like, you know, you're a pretty cool guy anyway. You don't need to. There's no lie need to, to do it. Yeah. yeah. I've been lied to many times. And the thing is, I say lying, like, if I have a friend that I know might lie to me about something, I, I, I try not to trust them as much as the other friends that I have. And the thing is, I say that you need to give trust. Like, you have to trust me in order for me to trust you. 
And the thing is, sometimes, you know, maybe it's just certain times during the day that somebody, something happened to them earlier, you know, that they just don't feel like being trustable. And, you know, during the day, you know, you, you really don't know what happened to them. So you have to be careful on, like, when you call people liars or when you try not to tell the truth and things like that. Yeah. I have a friend who like, she lies for attention. And like one instant, she actually told us at a youth group retreat that her grandmother died. And like, so we go, we're going to a basketball game and her grandmother's there like in the crowd. So everyone's just like, wait a minute. And she actually did it because she was interested in a boy. So we're like, oh my gosh, that's so wow, dumb. That's terrible. Yeah, that, I mean, one thing to not lie about would be something like as serious as that because eventually when it happened, that would probably just make her feel so bad. Yeah, I know some kid um, who said to a teacher that uh, his grandmother had died, and um, he did that so that he could get out of doing a project that day that he hadn't done. That is awful. That, that is, is really, really awful. It's pretty low. Well, this one time with my friend, we had, um, I had to talk to her about stuff like, you know, we just need to vent to somebody, like that mm -hmm. situation. And it was like that, and she sat there and she swore to me that no matter what I said, she was just gonna keep it between me and her. And I was really close with her, like she was like my big sister. And I went to like my dance class the next week and everybody knew, and I was really upset. And I really haven't been able to tell that girl anything since, I just don't trust her anymore. Yeah, um, around like the sixth grade, like our school, previous school closed down and me and my friend, we went to the same school and we were real close. And we befriended like someone else and we thought like we could trust her. And we talk to her like, you know, friends do. And then like we find out that she'd go to someone like a total stranger and like tell stuff about what we said and like making it seem like we were talking about the other girl and just kept going on for a while. And we found out it was like so hard to trust her again. And she, we, like she talked to us and we like trying to figure out if she'd be lying to us or if she's gonna tell someone else or secrets and all that. It was really hard. Yeah, trust is a really big thing for me. And I know, um, when I was younger, when my parents first, like first split up, this isn't long ago, but my dad told me it was just, like just couldn't live together anymore. And then three months later, like I found out the real reason and it was because of like a different relationship. But the whole problem with me was that I had to find that out on my own. So that just threw my trust out the window for a really long time. I mean, you know, you can deal with stuff, you can deal with those kind of situations, but when you're like 14, and you discover that kind of thing, you're not told in like a gentle way, that's just, that threw me for a while. Yeah, that'd be hard to recover from. Proverbs 10, verse 18 tells us, lying lips conceal hatred. The Catholic Youth Bible states that just as dishonesty is an act of hatred, so is honesty an act of love. Ultimately, our lies end up hurting others and damaging our integrity. We must always tell the truth. Next, Jenna tells us how her faith has helped her to be more honest. I'm not really all that much of a prayer. I don't really like sit down and do the whole rosary or anything like that. I do have quick little conversations with God in between my day. Just before Real Faith came, I, I was like, God, please help me say everything that I want to say and communicate everything I want to get through and help me to be honest and help me to say everything and help me to reach somebody today. My Christian faith has helped me to get through these situations and by teaching me about the honesty that I need to have with other people because if I can't be honest with other people and trust people and be able to hold that relationship with other people, they might not be able to hold the same relationship with me and hold the same trust to me. And that's what I want from my relationships with my friends. I hope that the people that I have heard in the past will be able to eventually forgive me um, when they see the way that I'm trying to change myself around and the way that I'm trying to be able to be more honest with people that I'm having relationships with now. And even though I might not be in a relationship with the same people that I've heard in the past, maybe they'll be able to see how I'm changing and be able to forgive me for how I've hurt them. I think my faith helped me to get past this mistake that I made with being deceitful to my friends and my family and to forgive myself just by realizing that people do make mistakes and just try to change the future because I can't change the past. And try to make um, a resolution to myself to be more honest in the future with my friends and with my family. How has your faith helped you when it comes to being honest? Well, for me, um, I always try to find Jesus' example, follow Jesus' example of being honest and open with people. Um, and also, I like to pray for people who are dishonest because those are the people that really 
need the help from God to be honest and uh, just better person. Yeah. Well, for me, like, Jesus was honest with people, but he was never, like, mean about it to them. Like, he told the Pharisees that he didn't agree with them, but he didn't go around saying that he's going to, like, undermine everything they're doing. Well, my faith helps me to be a good person. I think being honest is, like, one of the main points of being a good person, so. I agree. I think that's a really good part about having faith. Cause it's, and especially when you believe in Jesus. He was such a gentle, truthful person. Like, if you really keep that in mind, it can just help you, you know, to know when to tell the truth and how to deliver it. You know, it's always right to tell the truth, but a lot of times it's really hard. So it's good to have your faith behind you, you know, giving you a strong support. Mm -hmm. We have a responsibility to be honest to our friends. And we must pray about how to reveal the truth to others. In some cases, we may need to be brutally honest to friends who are making bad or destructive choices. We have to be able to be responsible and give them a wake-up call, telling them that their actions are really unacceptable. If we have friends who are lying to themselves about their choices, we may have the words of truth that finally set them free. Free from eating disorders, cutting, cheating, being used, meanness, or insecurity. Do you think honesty is the best policy? We want to know. Contact us through our website. The address is www.realfaithtv.com. Or you can call us at 609-406-7402. And one final thought. Honesty is a sign of good character and a clear conscience. It requires sensitivity and thoughtfulness, a concern for the other person's best interest as well as our own. Any relationship based on dishonesty is bound to fail. Let us pray that God helps us to be honest with our parents and teachers and friends, even when it's hard. And we must pray for the ability to be honest with ourselves and be our authentic self in everything we do. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Let's ask Him to help us to seek the truth in our lives and speak the truth with love to all we meet. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Real, Real Faith, Faith TV. TV. God bless.